Yo, what is up? All right. Uh, it's, uh, I'm not very good at intro. So anyway, uh, so today uh, I'm going to edit some videos for social media. Uh, vertical videos are kind of like the thing now. People don't want to rotate their phone to watch a video. I don't know. But uh, vertical videos, kind of cool. You can do some cool edits with it. Make it kind of look eye-catching, I guess. Uh, today, that's what we're going to do. And uh, I decided to make kind of a different video. Uh, and we're going to kind of make a tutorial. I don't know. I'm not a very good editor. Nor am I saying I'm very good at it. But we're just going to do it. And uh, upload it. Because I think it's some content that, I don't know, maybe people will like. We'll see. Judge me all you want. I don't care. All right. So, today... Today, we are going to use a program called DaVinci Resolve. Free program. Very powerful, very great. I use it all the time. That's what I used to use to edit all my video clips so far, my vlogs. Vlog, man. Am I a vlogger? I don't know. Anyway, as you can tell, we're going to do this in one take. One take wonder, because I'm not good at writing scripts and we're just going to go off the top of my head. We're going to go here. New project. First things off, we're going to set some settings. Portrait vertical videos. We're going to go with 1080 by 1920 instead of the usual 1920 by 1080. We're gonna go 60 frames per second, the frame rate, because uh, that is what I recorded. So we're gonna go with that. All right, so first off, we're gonna find the clip that we want. This is the clip. All right, we're just gonna drag that into our media pool here. Now, first things first, uh, so we're gonna drag video into the timeline, just like that. This timeline, this cut and edit tab, this is how you're gonna do everything. So first things first, uh, we're going to actually make four different layers because of the way vertical videos work. And as you can tell, if you want to, usually if you see this on your phone, this is what you're gonna see. Very small, but we can make that a little better. And this is just off based off of just what I've seen on social media and I'm gonna try and copy it. So we're gonna go here. We're gonna put four different layers. Four different layers, you ask? Uh, you'll see in a second. It's four layers. We're gonna go back to the Ed tab. I really hope that none of my parents walk in and or anybody walk in and hear me recording this. This just feels weird. We're gonna go ahead and delete all the different audios. All these audio tracks are the same audio. Don't want them overlapping. Don't want any chance. We just delete them. I just delete them. Next thing I do is uh, just for my sake, we're gonna label all these. So our bottom layer is gonna be our background. Layer two is gonna be our gameplay. Layer three is gonna be our webcam. And uh, layer four is just gonna be the kill feed. Here's where the fun begins. I spelled background wrong. Oh, we're just, we're just not gonna talk about it. Anyway, background. This one's easy. This is what we're gonna do. Go back to our a uh, inspector tab, and we're gonna click on the video that we want, and uh, we're gonna zoom that bad boy in. Just zoom it in. Fill it the screen. Can't see anything. Yeah, I know, but that's the point because just you wait here's what we're gonna do we're gonna use the gaussian blur why i don't know looks good right pop that bad boy on it as you can see background blurry easy effects we're just gonna bump that blur up why uh you know so it's not as distracting but it gives better than a, just a black background you know next gameplay now because this is a fps game a lot of the things that are interesting are in the middle of the screen. So what we can do and sacrifice for it is uh, just zoom that bad boy in. Now we're gonna not zoom it in too much. Uh, maybe keep my ammo and armor just in there as as a thing. But uh, at least cut off quite a bit. We're gonna lower this a little bit too. Uh, we can adjust it as, as we go, but that'll be good for now. We'll see after we get rid of the rest. But So we're gonna go to webcam now. Webcam, we're also gonna zoom that bad boy in. And uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna crop. Crop it so we're not, we can use a bar over here, but I find it easier to use this. For, for the purpose of the video, that is fine. We're going to go with that. Last one, uh, we got a kill feed, so we have a little kill feed thing here. Uh, we're going to use that as our reference. So we're going to go to our next layer, kill feed. We're going to crop this already, actually, and I can show you. Click on this. You can kind of crop as you go, you know. So we're just uh, we're gonna do that. Uh, zoom this in to help us out a little bit. Now we've got a layout going. Not bad, right? Not bad. Not bad at all. So from here, we're gonna go ahead and uh, cut up our video. Now we're gonna find the end of the video. That's kind of where we're gonna go. We'll pick a starting point. Ooh, look at that face, though. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's see, we're gonna. I know my first kill is like around here, so we're gonna. A little bit right before that, some bit of context. We're gonna start there. All right, so here's a shortcut you can do. So from the beginning of the video to the playhead, uh, you can do shift left bracket. So shift left bracket and boom, cuts the video. Now it starts where your your playhead is. One thing I should have done in the beginning. Uh, 
if you can play it back, if your computer runs kind of slow, you can go smart render cache and timeline proxy mode. Do that at like half resolution. This just changes your timeline when you're you're doing the preview. It does it at half resolution and it's not gonna hurt your output quality, but at least for in terms of like encoding and all that kind of stuff, it'll be a little easier on your computer. All right, so as we go on, we're just gonna, we're gonna little drag through this clip. So we got the first kill here. Now I know that there's not much after this. There's like a little bit in between of this and the next kill. So we're just gonna do control B, it's a blade blade B kind of cuts your clip into two so you have your first clip and then it separates it and makes it up the next half from here we're just gonna keep dragging through this go until we'll see uh, the next kill we don't want too much like boring space in between because I don't know maybe you guys kind of just scroll through it once it gets boring so we're gonna try to keep this as action-packed as possible give a little bit of context though so we're gonna I know there's a kill that happens after this plan so we're gonna go this plan halfway all right well halfway same thing again shift left bracket boom now that starts at play so this is gonna be just a little cut simple into the next clip uh, maybe we add a transition but i usually don't because it's not gonna be that too much of an edit here we go Look at that. a short 30 second video do i should i add more should i add more let's see let's see i have another clip to add to this can we you know what? we can most social video videos go up to 60 seconds i think right now our total time is 33 so we got a 33 seconds to play with right i guess we can show off something that also kind of useful so we're gonna toss that here we're going to just add in our layers again with our previous video uh, this clip is first so we're gonna start off with this one actually now as you can see 1080 by or 1920 by 1080 video right on a vertical screen you can see the back bars so we're gonna try and get rid of that again since we've done it already here the format we want all we can do we can actually just copy that and put it into layers but so what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this though all right so now that we got all our layers again uh, what we can do is we can just do a control c from our previous uh one right this is how we want the same layout throughout so we're just gonna go control c click on the next video uh oh, actually we have to be in the edit tab same one control c we're gonna go alt v here and click and do all the video attributes which is just all of the zoom crops all that kind of things we're gonna apply and we're gonna do that for all the layers all right and then uh same thing we're gonna get rid of uh, the audio here so we don't have any overlapping and as you can see now this is back to all matching same thing i'm just gonna go ahead and go through and i'll kind of cut through this video and see how see where we go all right so this is where uh where the fun begins so now we got kind of our clip uh laid out to find some good places to do some some edits to to make it a little interesting uh, the only thing i really do is kind of just zooms of like my face cam and stuff uh ooh, we're gonna put the webcam over the kill feed actually now that i think about it so we're gonna click on this one and we're gonna move this track up so we're gonna move track up and i believe we're good yeah we're chilling now i think here to emphasize how much health i have because i have 4 hp now uh after this kill we're gonna zoom into this little right over here so we're going back to the edit tab that would be our gameplay layer right we're just gonna zoom in actually before we do that kind of cut up the part that i want first right we're just gonna cut up everything and then we're gonna cut the other side of the edit so we only want this part this portion so we want the gameplay we're gonna click on that and B and it'll only cut that one portion then we're just gonna let that go for a couple seconds click on this sun control b right here uh, and then then we're gonna zoom in on where we want it and then we're just gonna transform this just to emphasize this uh what we can do as well is to kind of keep it consistent not really consistent anymore but we're just gonna crop crop from the top and then uh do this do a little bit of this again uh transform that with that middle screen Kind of show off that uh we have 4 hp and uh just kind of go back and see how that looks One enemy remaining. bang 4 hp just like that i usually like webcam when i like scream not really scream kind of make noises kind of weird so we're gonna cut it right around here we're gonna take just our webcam again so we're gonna go here and we're just gonna take this video again and we're gonna zoom zoom and then move it and bang just like that simple edits Make the video a little bit uh, more entertaining. Oh, let's go. All right, now here's another cool, simple edit we can do. Oh, let's go. <laughs> so we're gonna take our webcam again, and we're gonna take the first frame we want, and we're gonna cut, and we're gonna cut to here, 
Now what we're gonna do is gonna have a little gradual zoom. So we're gonna take the first frame of our clip here. We're gonna hit this keyframe button at the top for the zoom part. Uh, maybe zoom and position to make sure that we're in the right spot. Uh, but we're gonna go to uh, zoom. We're gonna hit this little diamond that's for a keyframe. So every time, every frame of the video, it's gonna, as we adjust it, it's gonna move to that kind of thing. We're gonna do the beginning and end, make it easy. I could go in each individual frame, but it's a little hard. So we're gonna click that. And then we're gonna go to the last frame of the video and we're gonna see how there's an arrow now. Now it's keyframe, so any changes that I make to that, it's going to basically zoom in at that rate or make sure it, at the start of it, it starts where it zoomed at and then at the end, it ends, ends where I want it to. Actually, we're gonna go back and make sure we've keyframed the position too because I believe the position will change. So we're gonna go here, gonna go, we're gonna zoom in a little bit and then we're just gonna move this uh, here. And uh, we'll see what that looks like. Let's go. <laughs> so as you can see, kind of, kind of little zoom. Let's go. And so what we can do here, actually, I'm gonna make sure we go back to our last frame. Uh, we're gonna keep that kind of centered. Hopefully, that's should be good enough. Let's go. All right. So then we're gonna keep the webcam for, uh, zoomed in at the last second to probably about here. Cut that. We're gonna do. We're just gonna take the last uh, frame here, and we're just gonna copy this value. We're going to go into this one, paste it into this one, and then do this value, and then uh, copy and paste to this one. Yeah, I think that's. I think that works. Ooh, hey, let's go. <laughs> There you go. Yeah. So that's a uh, yeah. One take. That was like half an hour to edit. I just thought of something. Let's uh, add a little flare at the beginning. Yeah. yeah why not? Let's add some little flare at the beginning. Oh, we're just gonna go find an image real quick. Just of the character that we're playing. Find a good one. With a transparent background. We're just gonna throw it in the beginning of the video. Add a little something extra flare to it. Why not? Let's throw that file in there and uh, let's see if it does it how we want to. Let's do something cool here. And then what we're gonna do is add a little sweet little title. I like these fusion titles because they're like fancy, cool, you know. So we're gonna we're gonna add this on top. Yeah, simple as that. From there, we're just gonna go ahead and deliver it. We're gonna go ahead and export it as we can. So we're gonna come here to the deliver tab and choose where to save the file. Save that. Uh, I leave it in default settings. This is gonna be again 1080 by 1920 to keep the portrait vertical video. And then uh, all you do is gonna do the entire timeline. You're gonna add to render queue and then you're gonna render all. And from there, that is all. Now, there was no script to this, so this is probably very bad. I'm gonna look at myself editing this video, editing this video, and it's gonna be very bad. But uh, hope you enjoyed. Hope you maybe learned something. If not, I can go into more detail. I was very focused on just editing the video, and uh, talking was a second. This video is something I wanted to do for fun anyway. So, all right. Yeah, thanks. Uh, peace out. And uh, you'll probably already have seen the video. This is the uh, behind the scenes though. Peace.